Circus McGurkis has just reopened at Islands of Adventure. Let's see. I'm Jay, and you are watching the Theme Park Foodies, and we're back at Universal Orlando Resort because my favorite quick service option in Islands of Adventure has finally reopened. We really missed Circus McGurkis during the Christmas season, right? Yeah, we needed that roast beast yeah. badly. <laughs> yeah, no roast beast is here, but the roast beast is on the menu right now. They have some new menu items. They've also refurbished Circus McGurkis. They now have a mobile order window like Minion Cafe has. And I do think that that particular quick service option has so much potential. I don't know if saying Circus McGurkis is my favorite quick service option is like controversial or not, but I think most people lean towards like three broomsticks or other areas in Islands of Adventure. But to me, the kinetic atmosphere inside Circus McGurkis, the aesthetic of it, uh, just lends itself to being one of my favorite places to just hang out in, right? Yes, and it's actually based off the Dr. Seuss book, If I Ran the Circus. So one of the characters, a little uh, Morris McGurk. Oh. It was his imagination, his little circus imagination. And you can actually see the Dr. Seuss trolley ride going through the restaurant. It really, it has great theming. It fits into the land perfectly. Yeah. They have four new menu items, a pizza pasta, Ooh. a meatball cone, a big top burger, and a salad. Maybe we'll get all four. Maybe, I really want a roast beast though. So I'm thinking oh, about maybe tr getting the roast beast and then like three other things. We can only eat so much, but I do love well, eating we a can, lot. We can bring some stuff home for dinner. <laughs> oh, we could, we could. It's, just so you guys know, this is an Islands of Adventure in the Dr. Seuss Land or Seuss Landing. Uh, as you enter, you're gonna have to head to the right. We'll show you guys how to get there. We're gonna see how the new operations are. We'll see if we notice anything with the refurbishment. I'm really hungry, so we're gonna eat a ton of food and review it. Are you ready? Yeah, we actually plan to film another Mardi Gras video today because Mardi Gras is in full swing. We yeah. have an opening day video. We'll link that below. But we saw this open and we're like, change of plans. Yeah, no, seriously. We will be doing a top 10 Mardi Gras foods next week though. So if you haven't, subscribe. And if you enjoy the content, please like, join us while we try out Circus McGurkis and their brand new menu items over at Islands of Adventure. Our roast beast adventure begins. I'm gonna feel so disgusting. For those that don't know, the area that you enter at Islands of Adventure is called Port of Entry. It's the port that brings you to all the different islands at Islands of Adventure. And we're gonna to need to head right to get to the island that we're headed to, Seuss Landing. All right, we've entered Seuss Landing. You'll see Green Eggs and Ham over to your left. You're gonna to have to bear right, but it's a bit confusing because there are no straight lines here in Seuss Landing, right, Sam? Just like in Dr. Seuss books. Yes, and even the palm trees, they've grown them in a way where they're kind of like bent and twisted. So you have to kind of bear life and then bear right and then- Bear life. <laughs> bear life and then loop around kind of to your left. You'll see a giant tent right after you pass one fish, two fish, and that is Circus Mergurkus. So it looks like the main dining area will be to the left, but if you want to check out that new mobile food order window, that's gonna be over to the right over here. It, it even says grand opening tonight as you walk over to the mobile food order window. I love this, very kinetic. Looks like the opening of a circus tent. And someone telling you to come over. I don't know if these topiaries are new or not, but I do think they look really cool. They're new to my memory. Yeah, they're new to my memory too. And here we are, the front of Circus McGurkis. You can see it kind of looks like a, a train is holding the tent up and the elephants are opening our way into the tent. I think they're running it the same way they run Minion Cafe right now. All right, so we're seated and it does look similar, but obviously a lot more pristine, a lot more clean. And that back wall where usually you would go to order no longer exists. It's just kind of like a themed back wall that kind of lends itself to the Circus McGurkis theme. They do have the Coke Freestyle machi uh, machines back there as well. They have booth seating that's in the little train cars. That's where we're seated, as well as table seating. And it's just like Minion Cafe, right, Sam? Yeah, it's very easy to order. Put in our table number. Yeah, so you put in the table number at the end, you use the QR code to pull up the app, and you pay right on the app uh, when you come in here. So again, just like Minion Cafe, and I, I think that Minion Cafe is probably my favorite quick service option right now in Universal. So this is definitely, I think, going to be my favorite here. But we will see. We got a bunch of the food. Also, like I said earlier, incredibly kinetic with the circus scenes going off and the Seuss trolley 
going through the background. People will wave to you while you're eating. It's just a real nice place to grab a quick service bite at a theme park. So this is one of the sections where you'd actually go up to order and now it's just all booths and theming. You can see this guy going to dive right into the fishbowl. Fish looks pretty nervous about that. If you're having any issues with the mobile order, they do have these kiosks over here that you can pay from. All right, so the food comes out real quick here. A lot of fun, new, interesting stuff. But Sam, you're starting off with the drink, right? This is the Ringleader Rush. It is a blue raspberry icy with cold foam and red stars. It has been sitting for a little bit while we take pictures. It comes in a nice little Circus McGurkis souvenir cup. Very cute. It's a blue raspberry ice. You like blue raspberry slushies? How's the slushy consistency though? I feel like Disney for some reason has these amazing slushies. You never... It's not as icy as the ones you're thinking of. I like the cold foam though mixed with it. It's good. I'm gonna seven. It's, it's an elevated slush. All right, so the first food item we're starting off with is the Magician Meatball Cone. It looks like, it purposely looks like it's just splattered all around it. The cone looks like it has a little Parmesan crust. Those meatballs look good. Sam, what's actually in this? So uh, these are homemade meatballs and marinara, marinara cavatappi. Cavatappi is a superior pasta. And then a garlic bread cone. Is there stuff in here? Oh, my whole cone. Yeah, it's stuffed with pasta. My cone is stuffed with pasta. All right. Good utensils too. It's a good meatball. Is it a spicy meatball? <laughs> a little bit of spice, not, not too much though. That's flavor. You can see there's definitely, they're using, putting a lot of parsley in it. It is like a little spicy marinara. Pretty decent Italian food for a quick service, you know, establishment. You gotta try the cone though. I, th I was imagining that this was gonna be tougher. It's not, it's, it's soft. It reminds me of the Cozy Cone Cafe over in Disney California Adventure. Oh, it is okay. I think it's more, more of it being a novelty than it actually tasting great. This is as garlicky as I thought it would taste. I don't need the cone. Nice meatballs though. I give this a seven. Yeah, seven solid. Like particular about Italian food, it's pretty decent for. I mean, I'm sure the sauce isn't homemade. It's you know, it's canned tomato sauce with some seasonings. Meatballs are you know tender, then they have a lot of flavor in them, and this is just. A novelty cone. This is like that other dish they have at Minions, that meatball dish that looks very similar to this. Alright, so this is their specialty burger. It's the Big Top Burger, right? So it has a red brioche bun, a fresh beef patty, cheddar cheese, lettuce, tomato, onion, and it's with curly fries. The roast beast also comes with curly fries. It looks like the sauce they have on it is kind of like a Mac sauce, like a Thousand Island dressing almost. It looks good. Nice thick burger patty too. That's always my issue with theme park burgers is that they usually have like a skinny, dried out burger patty. It's juicy. I feel like you can tell that it's juicy. It's grilled. I can taste the grill. This isn't bad. I would. I think it's a decent burger. I would. I would. I would eat this again. I actually think I would probably prefer this over the meatball just because I think the cone on the meatball dish is a waste. But this is a fun novelty, decent burger. Pretty good seasoned curly fries too. I'm gonna give this another seven, but I would pick this over the pasta. So a, a better seven. Ladies and gentlemen, the roast beast. This is what I've been waiting to come back. I feel like it's a little different. I could be wrong though. There's meatloaf on it, so it's like a meatloaf sandwich, right? Yeah, so it's a mushroom meatloaf, shaved ribeye, cheddar cheese, and crispy onions on a pretzel bun with curly fries. And you also, you can substitute for gluten-free buns here. And then there's like a little mini yeah. Grilled cheese type sandwich on top. Right, so I gotta take off. I don't remember it being meatloaf. I remember this feeling more like an Arby's beef and yeah. cheddar. But it, look at it. It looks so good. All right. Used to be dip, dipped in au jus, right? Mm -hmm. I don't think it has that oniony flavor anymore, right? Definitely different flavor than what I remember. It doesn't have the oniony flavor, but it's still really good. The shaved, the shaved prime rib, they said, right? Or shaved ribeye. Shaved ribeye. Prime rib. This is this is a theme park, Jason. Ribeye is high end, though. Look, I love the cheese sauce. I love it's mac sauce is on it. The pretzel bun. Let's try. And this is my favorite part. It's the little. It's, it's a little tiny sandwich. Yeah, it's a little tiny sandwich on top. I actually feel like that got bigger though than it used to be because I remember when we got it at Christmas time, it was so tiny. It's cheddary, buttery, and delicious. You so need to try that. And for the little tiny sandwich. That's so good. 
still something I'm going to keep coming back for. This is to me what this place is known for is the roast beef. I'm going to give it a nine. Um, a little spice in that sandwich too, right? A little kick at the end. Did you, did you get that? Yes. Yeah. And also, curly fries. Who doesn't love curly fries? Better than crinkle. Yeah, no. I'm so happy we came back just for the roast beef, Sam. I'm, I'm really happy this place is opening again because this is... I'm saying it right now, we haven't had I haven't had anything else yet. It's my favorite quick service restaurant in Island's Adventure. We had to get one of the newer things that you notice know, like little kids are gonna love to try. This is the pizza pasta. It's got the same type of pasta that the other dish you had it was in, right Sam? Yes, cava toppy. Yeah, and it it's, looks like pizza fries, but instead of fries, it's pasta. Yes, and it's this is mac and cheese in here, right? Yes. And Baked look, mac. Look at the little pepperonis. Those look good. Alright. Look at that. I got all the That flavors. looks good. I actually think I let you try the two better things. Not that mine were bad, mine were solid, but yours looks... I love it. As an Italian man in America, I love it more than I should. Because it's <laughs> definitely not like traditional Italian food, An Italian man in America. It's so... Like you said, it's like pizza fries. And not, you know, the sauce is like that sweeter kind of canned sauce that they use here. I felt like my meatball dish had a spicier sauce. Yeah, and it's not spicy has a good sharp cheddar flavor. I'm not sure what type of cheeses they're using on there, but then you get a little spice from the pepperoni. This is delicious. It's cheesy. As a child or an adult, I'd be happy to get this. I think I'm, I'm conflicted. I'm gonna go eight. I'm gonna go eight. I almost went nine, but I can't go roast beast level, but this is like right underneath there. So good, so good. I will not try them, Sam I am. I will not try green eggs and ham. I will not try them on a boat. I don't know the rest of the words, but this is the green eggs and ham cheesecake. What? What? It comes with its own little fork. Right here on the side. It looks oh, just like the I book. didn't even notice the tiny fork. Yeah, it looks just like the book. This is white chocolate fudge here on top. I don't know what this no, that's is. That's chocolate. Though. Oh, it's just chocolate? No, the little green. This is yep. chocolate. It's chocolate. This is fudge. This is white chocolate fudge. Here, carousel coming through. Looks like a cake pop. Circus McGurk is up in the game, man. This is better than Harry Potter World, I'm sorry. I mean, that what? controversial. We waited how long in, in Three Broomsticks? We did a video on there. And I, mean, I love the interior of Three Broomsticks. Don't get me wrong, the food is good. But this is so inventive and fun. So it looks like it has a little bit of a cake bottom, right? All right let's try it out. So we've got chocolate around the exterior. It's a chocolate cheesecake, so there's a little bitterness to it with the sourness of the cheese. Nice little smoothness on the cheesecake. And a little crunch comes from that bottom. I feel like it's an Oreo cookie bottom, actually. It has an Oreo flavor to it. I like it, it's different. But not my favorite cheesecake. I am more of a traditional cheesecake type of man, although I do really like a good crust in a cheesecake. I like how this is fun, it's inventive, but it's not my favorite thing that we ate, but I do think it's good, so I'm gonna give it a seven. I think seven is like, it's elevated, it's good, but it's not like the-, the great Fun cheesecake. theme. Exactly, yeah, it's fun. And I, honestly, if I was on vacation and I got this, I'd be like super happy, so seven. So this is definitely themed like, like a circus type of treat that you can get. It's got the caramel popcorn on top. What's it called, Sam? It just <laughs> caramel popcorn cupcake. I don't even know what flavor the cupcake is. It comes in an actual cup, so it's it's interesting. It's a literal cupcake. Like, <laughs> definitely a lot of cream on top. Right. Looks like a vanilla flavored cupcake. Marshmallow? Ooh. To me, it tastes like a vanilla cupcake with a sweet, fluff, very fluffy. I think it's marshmallow. Mm. It's a good cupcake. It seems like a very kind of light cream on top, like a light whipped cream. Mm. I like this a lot. I like the popcorn. I'm a little, this is so fluffy and sweet and then a little crunch with the caramel. I think it adds to the texture for sure. Yes. When you like get up when you get all all of them in one bite. Oh my God. Eight. 
Wow, so that's the winner for the desserts. We're on our way out, but I did want to show you guys that they do have indoor as well as outdoor seating. I'm so happy, happy this restaurant is open. <laughs> it was really fun, and it was good. Yeah. Food and desserts and yeah. drink. The projections, the kinetics, the uh, moving attraction that goes through the restaurant, the new topiaries outside the restaurant, the stars that are flashing everywhere, the writing. It's like you're inside a Dr. Seuss book. And the food for a quick for a quick service restaurant. I'm not saying this ain't like California Grill, you know, Musso and Frank level, but it's it's good quick service food, right? Roast beast is definitely a lot different than it used to be, but I still think it's good. Yeah. And I think that it's like it's good people pizza food. I think kids will love it, but then it's also some of the things are elevated enough for adults to really enjoy yeah. them as well. As an adult, I liked it all. So. There's <laughs> restrooms. There's mobile order. There's yeah. outdoor seating that's shaded. There's AC inside. Like I just. I like things like yeah. that. And the theming too, like the big tent and everything being tied down. Just a lot of fun. Um, they did theme the All Hallows Eve Boutique for Mardi Gras. We're gonna check that out real quick. Probably some of the same merch they have over at the Tribute Store. Let's see, we'll see how the theme is. Walk over there that's actually right in the Lost Continent. And uh, yeah, then we'll uh, go over our thoughts. All right, so here we are, the All Hallows Bayou Boutique. Just so you guys know, this is towards the back of the Lost Continent, right before you get to the Harry Potter section. They retheme this each season. This is the same bag they had in our opening day video. These cups are different. They're like kind of like mood cups. I don't think they changed color though. $22. They have this cool beads or bust shirt. This will run you back $30. And Sam, I think you found the King Gator popcorn bucket. We were waiting for these. So cute. Yeah, how much does this cost us? I think us? it's 30, I think it's $29.99. Oh, nice. They have a King Gator hat, 30 bucks. Except for the merchandise, it does look pretty standard in here for the old Halsey boutique. You can actually find Universal Monsters merchandise in here. This area back towards the register kind of looks like a Bayou themed voodoo seance. Complete with a skull in a jar. I'm noticing there's some changing shapes in there. Could this be an Easter egg for HHN? Something's happening on that table. Those symbols on the table are also projected on the walls here in the back. Looks like you can get your beads here too. I don't see a price on them though. Looks kind of bayou themed towards the top front as well as you walk in, kind of swampy. All right, so that's it for our time checking out Circus McGurkis after its reopening end, the All Hallows Eve Boutique. I know it's controversial, but Circus McGurkis Probably my favorite quick service restaurant out of both parks here at Universal Studios Orlando. Universal Studios and Islands of Adventure. Love the aesthetic, love the Dr. Seuss theme, how kinetic the atmosphere is. I like the food, how it's themed, how it tastes. And the adventure lives on in my stomach as all of that style tries to settle. Uh, Sam, what was your favorite thing you ate? Uh, definitely the mac and cheese yes. and the roast beef. And we did spend about, I think it was about $82 with our pass holder discount. I think without the discount, I think it was like 91 something. Yeah. So it was a lot, but we do have enough for dinner. So we are getting two sets of meals out yeah. of that. We probably ate more than what the average party would because <laughs> we wanted to get a lay of the land of the menu. And yeah, and also know. they did have a vegan version of that meatball dish that oh. we got. So these like impossible meatballs? Yes, and they do have gluten-free buns if you need that. So I think like that they're trying to be more inclusive to other dietary yeah. I'd be interested in some videos on those. So yeah. hopefully we can check some out and see how the vegan stuff tastes. My favorite thing I ate was definitely the roast beast. Uh, that's definitely not beast. vegan. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but a uh, meatloaf sandwich. Meatloaf had a good like mushroomy flavor because it was like a mushroom flavored meatloaf. I love the, the um, ribeye that was kind of sliced right on top of it. That cheesy flavor, the mac sauce that was on it. And of course, the little tiny sandwich <laughs> at the very top. It was it was so good. As far as the sweets go, I do think your cupcake I love won that the day. cupcake and I love how it was in a cup. It was yeah. very easy to eat and it was nice to get all the layers at once. Yeah. And I do think it was like a light marshmallow fluffy icing. It's a legitimate cupcake. Uh, all Halsey Boutique theming kind of light, I do think. I mean I could be stretching, but I do feel like there are some Easter eggs for HHN in there and HHN season or uh, not the season is a long time away, but uh, the reveal season is starting to come up sooner, speculation season as they call it. So I'm excited for that. 
And it was pretty nice. It's cool that they themed the All Hallows Eve boutique, of course. I think it's always worth going in there. I always have a good time checking yeah. out everything. I wish we got the popcorn bucket. We <laughs> wanted to do that for a giveaway on yeah. the opening day, but they didn't have it. But yeah. Unfortunately, check out that video because we are giving away the Gator Plus. Still going on. So we'll, we'll link that video with the giveaway in the description of this video. All you have to do is like, subscribe to our channel, like that video, and comment on that video something on the menu for Mardi Gras that you want to try. And if you enjoy the content, please like and subscribe. Liking will really help our channel grow. It pushes this video into the stratosphere of the YouTube algorithm. Helps other people find the video subscribing. It also helps our channel grow. Hit the bell notification so that way you're notified every time that videos come out, which is when, Sam? Every Monday and Thursday at 12. Thanks so much for watching. Don't count the days. Make the days count. We will see you next time. That's all, folks. Our goal today was to do a top 10 video for the Mardi Gras booths, but uh, Circus Burgers changed that. I'm kind of happy they did, but I am excited to try to eat that food. That video will be coming out within the next coming weeks, most likely next week. And we'll also have some more Universal content coming up because we are doing a staycation with Frank. Yes, yeah, so we're doing a dog-friendly stay at Sapphire Falls pretty soon. So we'll be doing a full tour of Sapphire Falls and let you know what's included with a pet stay there. I'm assuming it'd be somewhat similar to when we stayed over at Royal Pacific though, right? Yeah. I wonder if they have characters there. They had characters last time and Frank got to meet them and it was so cute. Yeah, um, that video, is actually, if you want to look that up, it's the Royal Pacific video that has Frank in it from last year. You get to see him meet Alex the Lion.